Okay guys, today is... What day is today? Saturday. Mm. Okay, so, um... Stole my husband's sweatshirt. I don't care. I am actually filming on my new Galaxy S7 because I like vlogging on a phone. I know that's crazy. Sorry. You can always hear Carter yell in the background. Um... I like vlogging on a phone better, and I got a better phone, so hopefully this works, and like I always do, I put Melissa's channel down below, and she got a new phone, and she's going to vlog on it too, so hers is the iPhone X, I will link that down below, um, and we're going to see how our channels do vlogging with our new phones, right? No, how our videos turn out vlogging on our new phones, that sounds better, so just let me know how this is, because I used to have the Galaxy S5, and I loved vlogging on that. It turned out so good, and I hate having to remember to bring a camera everywhere while I'm vlogging. Yeah, so I'm going to vlog on this today and see how it goes. Oh, <laughs> try that again. going like crazy out. What? <laughs> you hear that? He's so nice. You guys, I'm so sick of the smell. I just want it to be now. What is it? Huh? What is it? What are you doing? Oh, goodness, Buster. What are you doing? What is it? What is he got? What is he got? Huh? You guys are excited. Okay, sorry I'm in the laundry room, but I'll show you the things I picked up for the kids at Walmart. And it was crazy there, so I only filmed a little bit, but I don't even know if I'll keep it because it was loud. Um, I got Mason these jean jeggings, which she loves jean jeggings. I usually get her leggings at Target, but um, I bought her one pair of these before and I really liked them. And for $2, you can't beat it. And these, actually, she's, like, not a size 8. She's more, she can still fit in her size 6s. And I got these 4 and a 7 before, and they fit pretty good. But she needs, like, more size 7, 8 stuff, because she'll be in that soon. Um, I found these ones here with the flowers on them. And I got her two pairs of black ones, because you can't have too many pairs of black leggings. So I got her two pairs of those, and those were all $2 a piece. Um, I didn't find much for Carter, because actually the toddler stuff, they pretty much already took all the sales stuff out, and it was, um, <clears throat> summer. Yeah, they're coming out with summer stuff right now. But I got Macy this black sweatshirt. I would wear this. It's got, like, that cowl neck or whatever it's called, and then it crosses at the bottom here. It's just plain black sweatshirt. These were on sale for five bucks. I thought they were cute. She just likes to wear her basics, but I thought... All the leggings would go with these. And then she got a gray one, too. She really liked the gray and black, she said, because she's just like her mother, I swear. But, yeah, these were super cute. I would wear these. And they're, like, thinner, so these would be good for the spring. And then the only two things I found for Carter, I got them in the boys' section, is a Spider-Man sweatshirt. These are, like, really nice really really nice these are like the under armor material ones which we love so i figured these were would be nice for him and like we have a lot of days in the summer that some nights you just need just a sweatshirt so i figured these would be nice but i got them in extra small so i know these will fit him next year um and these were nine dollars so he got a red one and then he got this batman one which i just realized it says it glows in the dark but this one was his favorite got the gray sleeve but then like this baseball what are they called baseball tees that go like this like that type of design but yeah they're like the under armor or like the nike material and we love those sweatshirts for them so i thought these would be good so he got two of those and actually it seems like macy got more but this all they're both came up to 18 dollars, which i'm not complaining 18 dollars for this stuff a piece so what is that like 
40 something dollars. That's not bad. But I just thought these were so cute. Now I want some in my size. So some other things I got. This kind of turned into Walmart haul. Don't mind the mess. I need to clean. Um, Carter has eczema pretty bad, so his doctor told me to try this. And he said to try it for Macy's dry skin too. These sink strainers, because I'm tired of having to clean that out. I got two of them because my sink has two sides. And then a new one of these. I really like these. So I got a new one, and this is the Scott Brush. Scotch Bright. Scotch Bright, because I can't read apparently. <laughs> so I got those, and then come over here. I got my fridge needs cleaned out again already. I got this to start trying, and I just tried some. It's like a boosted smoothie. If you can hear my coffee, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, it doesn't taste bad. I actually like it. it. The look of it grosses you out more than what it would taste. And then down here, it's on my nose. My little cinnamon rolls. I already ate one of these for lunch, like half of it. But they're these little salad kits. And Walmart was clearing them out, so I got two of them because um, I need to start eating a little better sometimes. So if you're wondering where the kids are, they're napping because um, my kids still like to nap occasionally. It's usually if we just went out and we're running around, they like to take a nap afterwards. They wake up early, but um, I'm drinking coffee. I just drink a cup of that naked juice too. That stuff's really good. But uh, my mother-in-law got me this cup and it's like a Yeti tumbler. And it's made by the same person as Yeti, but she got these off Amazon. I can't remember what this is called though. And I don't see where it... An R-T-I-C... -R uh, I don't know. But uh, if I can find it on Amazon, I'll link it down below. I really like these. They're like the same thing as a Yeti, and I guess they're made by the same company. Um, but I was going to let you guys know that those sweatshirts, like I said before, I like to buy my kids' clothes at Target, but um, I was online looking at Target, and I put those sweatshirts in my car at Target because I don't know how they have the same sweatshirts as Walmart, or they're like pretty similar, but they were 20 bucks a piece at Target. And I had to... Macy's doctor is right next to Walmart, so I had to pick up a prescription there for her because I just use that Walmart for prescriptions. And like I said, it's not that I hate Walmart personally, it's just that, like, their stuff, um, it's just that people are crazy there. And it's always cluttered, and people don't know how to watch their kids. So that's that's my main beef with them. But I'm starting to get better about, you know, I, I go there. So um, just wanted to throw that disclaimer in there. But I went there to go pick up Macy's prescription Thursday, I think it was. And I seen those sweatshirts, and I was like, I have those saved in my Target cart <laughs> online. So... I better not get those. And then I was like, maybe I should have Carter come with me to see them and see if he actually wants them. So I took him back the next day and he wanted them. I actually had a different Batman one. I actually had, ugh, I can't talk. I actually had a different Batman one picked out and he wanted the one that I just showed you. So luckily I did have him see him, but uh, he wanted them and I got both of them for less than the price. I would have got just one of those from Target, but I'm not on Dog and Target or anything. I love Target. You guys know I love Target. I shop there way too much, but I figured get it cheaper there. And they're starting to step up their game at Walmart on kids' clothes, so I'm going to start like browsing there every so often, especially because they're starting to bring out all their spring and summer stuff out today. Like I said, a lot of it, it was in Carter size, but a lot of it was just, like, cleared out, too. And there were so many people there. That's why I don't like going there. Target usually has less people. But I need to go to Target soon, too. When will I go? I don't know. But, um, we're just hanging out at home right now. I'll make dinner soon. Not soon. I shouldn't say soon. In a few hours. I'm going to drink my coffee. This keeps it so hot. This is my second cup today, I'm not going to lie. Excuse me. So I'm making dinner. That just got done. I actually have to put it in this because um, I dropped our casserole pot. 
no, I didn't drop my casserole pot. My husband dropped the casserole pot and broke it. So this will do. It's for the crock pot, but it works. I've used it. Um, this lovely stuff here. Some mozzarella and cottage cheese. So this is called Poor Man's Lasagna. Um, who did I get this from? It was a YouTuber, Kristen Casper. So if you watch her videos, seen her make it, and this is the second time I made it, and it's actually really, really good. Sorry if you can hear the football game in the back. Introducing McDonald's Wash football. And now it's commercial, of course, when I went to go show you. But um about to clean up all this. Carter got a lot of these for Christmas. All these big sets. And I don't know what to do with them all. So I need to clean his room. Maybe I'll do that as a cleaning video. I need to clean his room so I can fit more stuff in there. Bottom 365, we can all stay connected from Vietnam to Boston to New York. Now with Whiteboard, we can all work together at the same time. And 3D and PowerPoint shows clients exactly what our cards look like. Having everyone working together on the new Teams app is really awesome. Seeing all these people react. I think we're looking from New England standpoint, the one guy to look at, Chris Hogan. Yeah. Play action pass. He's back in the lineup. Look for him for the deep ball. My expert, Kevin Byard, the safety yeah. for Tennessee, had 10 takeaways yeah, that led to the throw. Those were interceptions. Yeah. But I'll give my final thought. Titan, by definition, is one that stands out for gigantic size or power, uh, one that stands out for greatness of achievement. Tennessee, more now than ever, on this night, on this game. Live up to that next. You know, like, there was some music saying arm. Miracle wants. They're going to need another one. Yeah. They're going to win this game tonight. Take a look at some of the numbers that Tom Brady has accomplished in his career. Oh, uh, uh, it's oh, ridiculous. Hey, where have you been all day? Hey, give me a hug again. Hey, right here. Dad's been taking that. They're, they're built for this. He's built for this. And you can say whatever you want about him. Four years old. Thank you. Uh, what, what's going Love you. See you in the morning. Okay, and, got my uh, vlogging I kind of free, but he's just Daniels, been a big baby Patricia. today. I don't he is know the why. constant. He is the one guy when you get on the football field. I don't he is mind it. Incredibly competitive. It's just it's not my like kind of quarterback. Oh, what do you keep doing? He and Peyton what do you keep doing? Two players that really what do you keep doing? Our position fell. They really did. I mean, mentally, what do you keep doing? Uh, They're watching the football game. Wise, leadership wise, everything. What they are you doing, weirdo? Stop. Oh. Well, I'm free. You guys see that? I need to fix this. Actually, we're going to turn this into a pallet wall. So, oh, it's really bad. The TV's really loud because Andrew apparently cannot hear the game. So we're about to watch them Patriots. So, yeah, I think I'll end the vlog here. Um, Maybe I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's really boring. I'll film some lunch. Okay, I think you're talking about.